It's important, I guess, for if the patient has a known allergy to contrast to let the let their doctor know. And that way, if it's a it's, if it's a severe allergy to contrast, they can be premedicated with steroids um, to get the contrast. But let's say they get CT contrast. Mm -hmm. When the patient's injected, it's a large amount, so it's important to be hydrated before the exam. Okay. Um, so uh, anyway, when they get the contrast, the patients will feel kind of a hot flush feeling, mm -hmm. and they may feel the sensation they have to go to the bathroom, and that's a normal sensation. But the most okay. important thing for if you have to have a contrast exam is to be hydrated so that the technologist can start the IV mm -hmm. pretty easily. Oh, and yeah. she's referring to the iodine contrast that right. we use for CT imaging. Okay. For MRIs, we use a different kind of contrast called gadolinium. Mm -hmm. and that that is uh, super easy to get, really very few effects and uh, really no medical concerns uh, okay. uh, unless you have very severe renal failure and then there may be some concerns.